Four U.S. stealth fighter jets have just completed a flyover of South Korea in yet another show of force against North Korea following its recent provocations. Our Kim Hyun Bin has the details from uh, Seoul's Defense Ministry. Uh, Hyun Bin, quite the air show for Pyongyang to ponder. Uh, that's right, Mark. The four jets that flew over Osan Air Base, a little south of Seoul, a few minutes ago, are F-22 Raptors, uh, which are seriously powerful uh, pieces of military hardware. Now, it was escorted by four South Korean F-15s and four U.S. F-16s on each side. Now, F-22s were dispatched uh, by the U.S. Air Base in Okinawa this morning as part of a provisional deployment aimed at pressuring North Korea. Now, a South Korean military official says two F-22s will be temporarily stationed at the Osan Air Base. Now, the F-22 is a key part of Washington's key strategic weaponry and considered one of the best fighter jets in the world. Now, they are equipped with full stealth capabilities as well. Now, this, is, this means they could infiltrate North Korean airspace undetected and destroy the regime's key nuclear and missile infrastructure before the North knew what hit them. Now, their range also allows them to target anywhere in North Korea when flown from the south. Now, the F-22s are not the first strategic U.S. weapons deployment here in recent weeks. The U.S. flew a B-52 bomber over the peninsula last month, uh, plus a nuclear-powered submarine USS North Carolina docked in Korea's southern city of Busan on Tuesday. The nuclear powers carrier USS John C. Stennis is also scheduled to take part in the annual South Korea U.S. defensive drills, Key Resolve and Full Eagle, which start early next month. Now, we also hear word B-2 stealth bombers could also fly over in the coming weeks. So all the big guns of the U.S. Air Force and Navy have or will make an appearance over South Korea in a show of force the Allies hope will make North Korea think twice before carrying out another provocation. Back to you.